let's discuss spotters 10 spotters mixed bag not a particular system each spotter will be displayed for 30 seconds and answers will be discussed after each spotter for more spotter videos visit our channel playlist This is a classic spotter of diffuse esophageal spasm. It is a motility disorder of esophagus where there will be loss of inhibitory neurons which will cause peristalsis which looks like a corkscrew appearance and diagnostic and gold standard test would be manometry and not variance value. This case is a white matter disorder known as metachromatic leukodystrophy which is a lysosomal storage disorder where there will be deficiency of aryl sulfatase A. Here we can see bilateral symmetrical white matter hyperintensities on D2 weighted images. This will also show tegroid pattern and there will be sparing of subcortical U fibers. Here we can see tegroid pattern alternating high point hyperintensities. Photo 3 was congenital lobar emphysema. Here we can see lucent lung parenchyma in left upper zone with mass effect that is mediastinal shift towards opposite side. Most common site will be left upper lobe. case of skeletal dysplasia that is thanatophoric dysplasia where we can see telephone handle long bones here we can see femurs showing telephone handle appearance with shortening of proximal limbs that is rhizomelia here we can see telephone handle humerus there will be associated squaring of iliac plates and narrow chest with horizontal ribs macrocephaly will be present with platyspondyly as a finding in spine. The neat PG spotter case of acute epiglottitis, most common causes haemophilus influenzae. It's a life threatening condition and better to diagnose on X-ray. Here we can see thickened epiglottis and aryepiglottic fold giving rise to thumb sign.
this was a case of midgut volvulus here we can see that whirlpool appearance of bowel loops this is a complication of gut mal rotation so look for the signs of gut mal rotation too whirlpool sign is because of twisted mesentery and bowel loops along with it inverted sma and smv can be seen because of mal rotation This is a case of Farr syndrome where we can see abnormal calcium deposition in bilateral basal ganglia. Also the deposition will be in cerebellum that is in the dentate nucleus and in the white matter. These are nothing but the vascular calcification in advanced stages. Here we can see symmetrical calcification of bilateral basal ganglia. White matter calcification can be seen in later stages. MRI flare cross section of septo optic dysplasia. Here we'll have optic nerve hypoplasia and septum pellucidum will be absent. Here we can see pointing down lateral ventricles, which is classic, and then hypoplastic pituitary stalk. This is a case of orbital dermoid etiology or etiopathology is trapped ectoderm and these are congenital cases here we can see extra coronal fat density mass similar to the orbital fat density sometimes this can show cystic or solid changes with heterogeneous attenuation This is a case of salpingitis isthmica nodosa. The name itself suggests that it's a pathology of fallopian tubes where there will be nodular scarring. Share and subscribe Radiology Doodles on YouTube and Instagram for more videos.